this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I'm going to show you how to play the Led Zeppelin classic When the Leve Breaks. Uh, so this is Robert Plant's harmonica intro that I'm going to play you. So for this lesson you'll need a harmonica in the key of B flat. We're playing in second position in the key of F. And uh, while you're rummaging around for your harmonicas, let's listen to what it's going to sound like. Okay, so before I do the lesson, I have got to thank uh, my friends over at Now You Shred, uh, an awesome YouTube channel uh, who very kindly provided me with the backing track for this lesson. So if you want to go and uh, check them out, I really encourage you to do so. Click on the link in the description below and uh, you'll find lots of awesome jam tracks. Okay, so first lick is going to sound like this. One, two, three. Okay, so this happens after two bars of the drum intro and basically we're playing a double stop, so that's two notes played simultaneously. We've got the four draw and the five draw and you're going to hold it for an entire bar and then you're going to hold it again for an, an, another bar um, and you're going to play it with vibrato. So the main thing is making sure that you're counting how long this lasts for and don't forget that although it is a four beat long note, you're allowed to take a breath at the end before you play the next bit. No one's expecting you to play solidly for eight beats without breathing. Uh, so that will be one, two, three, four. And one thing that you can do with this whole tune, it's quite a messy solo. So if you want to be a little bit rougher with it and kind of breathe out through the harmonica and make it sound really dirty, you can do that. So you can end up with something like this. One, two, three, four. Okay. So let's try that together. One, two. Okay, so I'm going to go through these licks quite quickly, so if you want to pause the video and work on any lick, do that. Otherwise, let's move on to lick number two, which is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you'll hear that it's very, very similar to lick number one. We're starting with one bar of that four, five draw, holding it for an entire bar. And then for the second bar, you're only going to hold it for two beats. So you're going to do stop on beat three, and then you're going to play two, three draw whole step bends. And then you're going to play two draw, two draw, two draw whole step bend. Uh, and I suggest that you articulate them quite strongly so that they sound quite nice and percussive. So let's just practice that bit. So starting after beat three, one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. OK, 
Okay, now let's add it uh, to the vibrato. So we'll just do the half bar of vibrato, four draw, five draw vibrato, that happens before that. So starting on beat one. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's play that whole lick together. One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's move on to lick number three, which is going to sound like this. One, two. Okay, so it's kind of where it starts getting a little bit more fluid, um, and personally I don't think it's so important that you get the timing location of every single note totally spot on because it's definitely a feel thing uh, and you want to get into that that nice hard Led Zeppelin groove. Um, so what we're doing, so we're starting just after beat two, we're starting with a three draw whole step bend and then we're raising it up to a half step bend and you're going to hold that for uh, the rest of that bar so you hold it three, four, one, two, then on beat three of the next bar you're going to start playing uh, the three draw half step bend with a little bit of the four draw beat bleeding into it. Okay, and you're gonna play that for another two beats and then you're going to come back to the clean note and then slide down to a two draw. Okay, so that will sound like this. We'll try it together nice and slowly. Starting off to beat two, one, two. Okay, and then let's move on to lick number four, which is going to start after beat four and sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so very, very similar idea. We're starting with um, a little uh, pick up, one draw, two blow, just after beat four, and then you're going to go back to that three draw whole step bend, immediately releasing up to a three draw half step bend. Okay, and then you're going to go to the double step, so the three draw half step bend with a little bit of the four draw bleeding into it, um, and that's uh, going to start on beat three, so... Hold that for two beats and then on beat one of the next bar, turn it into a clean three draw, four draw. Okay, hold that for almost two beats and then come back to the clean, uh, to the single three draw half step bend and then slide down to a true draw. So you're doing. Okay, so all the way through, I'll just play that uh, all the way through and you can listen to it. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that together, starting off to beat four. One, two, three, four. Okay, right, next lick, uh, lick five is gonna sound like this, starting just after beat four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got uh, one draw, two blow, and then three draw half step bend on beat one, but you're quickly sliding down to a two draw. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then you don't do anything for the rest of the bar until just after beat four, you're gonna play just a single clean one draw. So that's one, two, three, four. So all the way through. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
Okay, right. Now, let's move on to lick number six, which uh, is kind of uh, the, the really, really recognizable bit, at least, at least I think it is. Um, it's very tasty. Starts on beat two, sounds like this. One. Okay, so you are starting on beat two, and you are playing five, six draws in a row. Ba, 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 da. And you're bending the uh, fifth one down to a half step bend. So that's two triplets in a row. And then you're gonna hold that six draw half step bend until beat three of the next bar. And then, on beat three, the next bar, you're raising that bend up to the clean sixth draw, and you're gonna hold it until the end of that bar. So that's another two beats. So let's try that together, starting on beat two. I'm gonna give you a full bars count in before we start it. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, so let's listen to lick number seven, which is gonna sound like this. One. Two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna break it down into uh, three chunks. So our first chunk, so that lands on beat one and it's six draw, six blow, five draw, five blow. So one, two, three, four. Okay, then our next block will be four blow, four draw, five draw, five blow, four draw. And that starts just after beat two. One, two. So that means that you're aiming to get your five blow landing on beat three, okay? And then you're gonna have another little pause and play the same block again so that your four draw lands on beat four. So if we put them all together, Okay, so it's all about knowing which note is gonna land on the beat. So the first note that lands on the beat is the sixth draw, and then on the next beat we have a pause, then the next note that lands on a beat is the five blow, and then after that block we're gonna have a pause, and then the next note that lands on the beat is a four draw. Okay, so let's try that together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's, that's quite a tough lick to get the timing right on. I suggest that you kind of let your feel guide you, guide you a little bit more than anything else. Um, and it is easier to play faster and uh, along with the track than it is to kind of play it slowly and kind of academically, if that makes sense. Okay, so. Lick number eight is going to carry on with that kind of rhythmic theme. It's going to sound like this, starting just after beat one. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we are starting with that same idea. Okay, um, so that's four blow, four draw, five draw, five blow. And then we're going to just keep going with five blow, five draw, five blow, five draw, five blow, five draw, just sixteenth notes uh, until beat one of the next bar where you're going to end with a five blow, five draw and hold it. So that's one, two, three, four, one. Okay, um, and again, let, let the feel guide you, but if you're trying to get that 16th note feeling, think in your mind, Coca-Cola, 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 Coca. Okay, and then you're gonna hold that last five draw uh, until just after beat two, and then you're gonna turn it into a five, four warble. So that'll be until beat four. 
Okay, so let's try doing that lick all the way through, starting after beat one. One, two, three, four. Okay, right, we have one more lick. Uh, lick number nine, which is gonna sound like this and starts on beat one. One, two, three. Okay, relatively simple, just about getting that finesse on the, on the breathing. So you're starting on a six blow, and you're holding that six blow for two bars, so for eight beats, and you're starting really, really quietly and gradually increasing the volume until you get to the end of the second bar, and then on beat one of the next bar, you're going to slide down uh, from the six blow, sliding down to infinity. Like that, okay? So let's try that together. One, two, three, Four. All right, cool. So that's all of the licks of the intro. Uh, if you want to pause the video and work on any of them, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, if you want to try playing through uh, all the way nice and slowly with me, then let's do that now, okay? So right from the beginning. Okay, excellent work. So when you play it, you're gonna play it a lot more neatly than I played it. Or not, you could play it super, super dirty and make, make it sound a little bit rougher and, and that would be very true to the original because the, the original recording is pretty rough and uh, Robert Plant plays it uh, with lots of kind of reverb and, uh, and, and quite an overdriven sound through a microphone. So if you want to get that, that really authentic Robert Plant tone, uh, you want to have lots and lots of reverb and play it, play it very, very hard through a, an amplifier that's cooking quite hard so that you can get it to overdrive um, and, and just kind of feel it. There's a lot of kind of very visceral playing going on. You know, he's kind of really giving it some welly. So do that and it will sound great. And the licks that I've put together today, they're a guide, right? So they're what I can hear. Some of them I don't think are exactly right, uh, but it's, it's the rough idea of what Robert Plant's playing in this intro. Um, so first of all, I really want to thank uh, my friend over at Now You Shred. Um, really go and check out their channel because um, they've got backing tracks in all sorts of different styles, including this one, uh, and you can download backing tracks from them and you can play along with their backing tracks on YouTube. Really, really useful tool for you to practice your improvisation. And uh, now, if you want to get the tab and audio clips of me playing through this to help you learn it, uh, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below. Uh, but before you do that, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel because I put out a new harmonica lesson every single Wednesday and I wouldn't want you to miss out on next week's. All right, thank you very much and happy harping. Uh -huh.